I've decided to read the Karamazov Brothers by Fyodor Dostoevsky, and this is my first of his works. And honestly, I don't really know what to expect, and I'm glad that I'm going into it in this way. I am particularly interested in how the book tackles the emotion of guilt. I believe it's an emotion that guides the actions of many, but oftentimes discussion around that emotion are done in a very superficial manner. So I'm looking forward to see how the topic is presented in this book. And I'm also just looking to be entertained, honestly. I I have a feeling that I'm going to like the book for some reason, but I guess we'll see. I've woken up early, but I've been procrastinating packing. I've done some reading, did some studying, and read some manga, but now I'm ready to start. I've been waking up around 5 and just reading for like an hour or two. This morning I came across this quote that I really liked. Take away my belief in life, my trust in a good woman. Destroy my faith in the order of things. Convince me that on the contrary, everything is just chaos, disordered, damned, and perhaps diabolical. Drive me to despair at the thought of losing all earthly hope. I shall still want to go on living. Just went up and down the stairs with my cousins bringing in books from my barrel. It's been over a year since I've seen these books and I forgot which books I owned, honestly. But there's so much that I'm so excited to read and reread. So it's a nice feeling. A couple of the books got dusty or bent, but I guess it's okay as long as the inside is okay. This is a book that I got from my dad 
and he first got it in 1981 which is why it's really beat up but I really like it is coming together. I don't have much more. I need to put up the curtains and wash my sheets and just clean my room one more time. And then that should basically be it. So I thought I would expand more on the Karamazov brothers just because I'm now at page 900. I've only got around 100 pages left and I'm enjoying it quite a bit. If you really strip the story down to the core, it's just a crime story and you're just figuring out how all these characters are involved in the death of this one individual. But the story is so much more than that. It talks about love and hate and religion and isolation and feelings of guilt and it does so in such a realistic manner it also does it in a way where it's almost funny I honestly was not expecting the tone of the book to be so light-hearted but it is there's so many points where I was genuinely smiling and that's definitely not something that I expected because from the very beginning you find out, from the very first sentence, you know that a murder has taken place and it's a very violent murder. And although you don't know the details, that's, that basically sets the entire rest of the book. And so I went in thinking that the tone would be a lot more serious and dark, but it was pretty light-hearted and the contrast that that created such a dark topic with such a light-hearted tone made for a really unique reading experience and I really enjoyed that. It also made me think about things in a way that I haven't done before and the dialogue is so good. I don't know I feel like I could talk about this book for hours but um, I thought I would just share a little excerpt I guess just a small sentence because when I read this I went back a few pages and I just wanted to reread it immediately so um, by the way this isn't a spoiler and it won't ruin um, the story but at this point two of the brothers Alexei and Ivan are having a discussion and basically, Ivan is telling Alexei all these atrocities that human beings have done. And at one point, Alexei is like, why are you telling me all of this? Why are you describing all of these brutal um, murders and actions? And he basically says, I think that if the devil didn't exist, and if man has created him, then he has created him in his own image and likeness. There's countless other examples of um, sentences and paragraphs like that throughout the book. 
and they put into perspective things that I've never thought of, at least not in that angle before. And I mean, what more can I ask of a book? I was entertained and at the same time, it was really thought provoking. And so I'm most definitely going to be rereading this book again, probably multiple times.